Welcome back everybody. Um, today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Um, it's something um, which you might need at GCSE level but it's probably closer to um, A level. Um, we're going to be looking at classes. So a class is a um, it's something, it's an object in Python which has variable, um, like has different attributes to it. So if you imagine a variable has sort of one attribute, it is this thing. A class is a, simply speaking, is a variable with other attributes to it. So um, let me just start off by uh, giving you kind of an example here. So um, if you were playing a computer game and you had a character, um, you could call that. Um, that character would have a class, and depending on that character's class, they would have a health statistic, a attack statistic, a defense statistic, and all the rest of it. So the way we define those things is we define them using a class. Now, defining a class in Python is pretty straightforward. Um, it only gets complicated when you start calling classes and randomizing parts of what you call. So um, if we start off with um, class, uh, which tells Python we're going to create a class here, uh, give the class a name and then in brackets here we need to tell Python that it's an object um, that just means that um, it won't try and treat it as anything different like a function or something like that um, it's just going to treat it as an object which we will um, take things from use things from it won't affect it won't run in effect it's just something we can use in the background um, so my character here um, we set their health to 100 to begin with so let me just show you um, how this would work now so if I was programming a computer game and I wanted to get this character's health up um, all I would need to do was I would just print character dot health okay so if I run this now you will see it prints 100 and now I can edit that attribute um, you know just by calling it exactly the same way so I could do um, character health equals character health minus 10 so say you've taken a hit or something like that oh <laughs> and then obviously you need to be able to see it let me print it again So at the beginning here we have the character health which is set to 100 and then underneath it we've uh, removed some of the health and then we have um, uh, printed out the new health and underneath it there. So we can give our character lots of different attributes here, um, uh, sorry our class different attributes. Um, so we can give them an attack, a defend, um, I don't know, like a ranged attack or something like that. And then we could use, basically what we would then start to do is we would start to build, um, well, in this example, um, we could then start to build maybe some sort of little computer game. So maybe if we did an enemy class and their health is equal to 50, their attack is equal to two, and it was equal to two, and we won't bother with the range for a second. So, um, what I could now do is I could sort of uh, create maybe uh, maybe a, a loop where um, my enemy class is attacking my character class. So, um, let's get rid of this part of it for a second, and uh, I'll just show you how to call those two different things. So, if we're going to say here, um, uh, maybe we'll just print something it's like. Um, And then underneath it, we would have a character dot health equals itself minus the enemy dot attack, and then we just print out. You have character dot health. So 
So what I'm basically saying here, I've got these two classes working now. So I'm looking at the um, my character's health and it's taking away the enemy attack to it. And if I run this, so you've been attacked by an enemy. Um, you have 98. You have 98 remaining. Um, I should probably put health in here as well. You have 98 health remaining. There we go. So from those very early starting points, you could now start to define other, you know, characters, other, um, you know, enemies, and uh, you could start building maybe a little computer game, a text-based computer game, um, which actually what I'm going to be touching on in the next few lessons, which is going to be using classes to build um, kind of like a random encounter type computer game. So that is a brief introduction to classes. Um, we'll be doing more on those in future sessions and um, if you would like to know something specific about Python or you'd like me to do a specific video focusing on one area of Python, just leave me a comment and I can do that for you. Okay, thank you for listening today and I hope you've got something from that.